Hello all, welcome to my channel. Now in this video, I want to show you how to read the data from the file and load the same into link list. So here, I want to just write here, this is a slash L. Let me copy this and let me write here the option number 10. And that is, you can say that read from file and write into link list. This is what I want to do in the option number 10. Here in the option number 9, what we did? Write the link list into the file. So this is write the link list into the file. So now in option number 10, so definitely I need to write the case number 10. So I'm just writing here that is case 10. Here you can just use the function that is a read data. And here you can just pass head and you can write break. So definitely I need to create the function that is a read data. So let me create here one function that is void read data. And here in read data, I just want to pass that is a student pointer, for example, edge. Now I want to open the file. So I'm just writing here file pointer fp is equal to f open the name of the file that is a student dot doc. Now I want to open this file in a read mode. So I'm just writing here R. Here you can just close your file. Now here you can just read one by one record from your file using the function that is F read. Here in a F read, you can store the value in a one variable. So I'm just writing here that is a student, for example, S1. So I want to store this record that is one by one record in a S1 variable. So I'm writing here address of S1. Here you can just write that is a size of that is a student that is a one record one and FP. So what happened? The data will be read into this S1 variable. Now I want to store this S1 value inside the link list. So definitely I need to create the link list. So to create the link list, what we can do? Simple, we can use the functionality of create function. So we can go into the function that is create function. So earlier we just created the function that is create function. You can just copy this particular code. That is if h is equal to equal to null, then what you want to do? You can just simply copy this particular code and you can paste over here in your function that is read data. So here you can just paste this. Now, what we want to do? It is very simple. You can say that one by one record is read into this S1 variable. So if H is equal to null, then I just want to assign the value to the H. So here I'm just using that h dot roll number, h dot name, h dot percentage, and h dot next is equal to this. Now this value is available in s1 variable. So I'm just writing here s1 dot roll number, s1 dot name, and s1 dot percentage. Now once the value is assigned in a h, we can simply declare here head is equal to H. So if it is a first record, then that will be my head record. The same thing I need to apply over here, and that is what that is S1 dot roll number. Here I need to write S1 dot name. Here I need to write S1 dot percentage, and that's a set. So you can say that this is used to read the data from the file. Now you can simply build and run your application. Now see here, there are 10 option is available with me. Now if I'm choosing the option number two, then link list is empty. So no data is available. But if I'm choosing the option number 10, then you can see here, the link list is reading the data from the file. So my data is read from the file and it is available over here. And the wonderful thing is what suppose if I'm adding one more record over here that is 105 and the name of the person is Dharmik Chotalia and if you add the percentage for example 76 
and if you press 2 your linked list having the five records and if you write this record the linked list data is written to the file if you exit from here and if you rerun this particular code and if you choose the option number 10 then you will get all the five records this is the wonderful thing that you can do using the writing the link list into the file and reading from the file and load the same into the link list so that's it from my side if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you very much have a nice day